live tv here's your wake up call or your good night your good night call <laughs> how, we're in double digits emma we're episode 10 how did that even happen that it's is too much fun cool. yeah it's pretty <laughs> cool to be fair imagine gosh and right enough time is going by very quickly isn't it it is so so cool so fun so this week we're talking about prioritizing happiness hey what does happiness mean to you emma I'm giggling to myself because <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, and I say, happy. What, I know what makes me happy and there's loads of things that make me happy and I do practice it every day but um just a wee bit random and a wee giggly thing I'm really happy because it's Easter Sunday on Sunday which means chocolate for breakfast which makes <sighs> me very happy <laughs> oh my goodness Ch chocolate Apple in our lives. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. We didn't get so much of it when we were growing no, up. But no, yeah. No. That's I'm only being jovial, but anyway, I am quite happy about that. But anyway, um happiness is everything to be fair. If you think about it, you know, everybody is striving for that happy feeling or that feel good. And um whilst it comes in everyday things, we don't always recognise it, sure we don't, and it's really about assessing the situation and even with Mental Health International I do have a tagline where I say choose happy, because I truly do believe that we have the ability to own our thoughts in our heads, regardless of what's going on, and choose to be happy. Now, you can't do it all the time because really bad things happen and you have to allow the feeling however on a day-to-day -day basis, keeping going, I choose to, when I get up, use my gratitude journal and um, write in it, and that starts my day off that I'm choosing to be happy and grateful for what I have at that time. And do you know what? It only gets better after that. See, guys? Do you see? See Emma in action when she's talking about happiness, hey? I absolutely 100% agree. And, like, you start your day with your gratitude journal. I start my day writing. Or with you guys here this morning. It's 5 a.m. here. I got up for 5 a.m. for you guys today. <laughs> And, and you're happy, but, you're happy. Well, I'm always happy because I live a life that I love and that's a choice for me. So I, I jump out of bed very happy in the mornings. I know it's a bit cheesy, but it's absolutely true. And I want everyone to feel the same. But one of the things is like I do, what I do, I wake up and I write and I adore that. It sets me on a really good tangent for that. But to know what that is for you, what makes you happy? What do you enjoy doing? What would make you jump out of bed in the morning? You know, and... And just do more of that because um, life's too short to not do that. And prioritizing yourself. As I said before, Emma, like when I remember whenever we were younger, hey, mom, if you're watching, love you. <laughs> mom used to always say to me, whenever you'd come to mom with something, she'd always say, well, do whatever makes you happy. That was the, the, how you made, you know, came to a conclusion or a solution. Do whatever makes you happy. And so I've always had that in the back of my mind prioritizing happiness and happiness is not selfish whatsoever it's actually our job to ensure that we're happy because when we're happy our energy is high we give the best of ourselves to others and so then everyone benefits everyone benefits it's not a selfish endeavor at all whatsoever so it's your job to make sure that you are happy within and it's just this glowing thing that happens when when you just feel so aligned with yourself you know yeah totally agree and like i mean we would all choose happiness to be fair you know you don't want to go through life not having it and i know things happen i also believe and i had a conversation with this on monday night um about you know ensuring that you're happy and it is widely known and thought through you know if you have goals big goals or small goals if you're kind of striving for something and have ambition and an intention of something um happiness is there you you know happiness will override any other thought because you're striving because um and it's in psycho cybernetics the book as well but they also talk about you know human beings we are goal striving people we need something to be 
aiming for now that can be anything it can be anything tall it can be to get to the end of the day it can be to get all your iron and done it can be a big work goal it can be a life-changing goal but we are goal striving people and if we have something to aim for or something to be ambitious or excited about that creates happiness that that builds happiness within us and i don't i don't want to go into clinical to it but we all need to have something else to be thinking about something out of our heads that is out there that we are striving for uh, as i said a goal and it it is maintained or you know that they're saying that if you have a goal you have happiness I'm not saying you'd be yeah. happy all the time, but it helps towards that feeling of happiness. And as you're saying, that energy. So when you're happy, your face lights up, everything, your eyes light up, everything lights up, and you're just giving that energy out to the world. And we know what happens. It comes back at you. So if you're feeling happy, that's what it does. It's amazing. Well, I have to admit, in all of that, all I heard was ironing making you happy. Like, no. <laughs> That's so not how I roll. Get rid of it. I'm that happy when it's exactly. done. <laughs> but no, I 100% agree. And like happiness, when you, you're happy, you it's an endorphin thing, isn't it? You know, it's it's an actual physical thing that happens within your body. So so why not choose that? And it is a choice. Like if, I, if I'm going in my day and... Right, and I do stub my toes on this bloody sofa out in my kitchen a lot. But when I do... You know, you go, oh, shit. but you can reset, you can stop, you can just stop in that moment and just say, I'm not choosing to go down there. I'm just going to reset, take a moment, go for a walk, take a breather, count to 10 and, and then just reset your day because it is about being mindful of what you're wanting to achieve in that day. And, and it is about keeping things in check in your mind, you know. You can flow away through life and make it look so graceful, but underneath your legs need to keep paddling, you know, like like that's that beautiful swan. Totally. Trevor's totally. here. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Trevor. Trevor's here. Hi, Trevor. Trevor says, I love my job, so I am lucky to have a very happy start to the day. Well, that's wonderful. That's a wonderful thing to say, isn't it? That's like what it's you so good. Saying, Karen. Um uh, in everyday things, I think we need to it's a bit of trial and error as well. And we've chatted about this before. You know, you do you, you find out what makes you happy. Or when you're doing something, check in on yourself and think, Oh, I actually really enjoy doing this. Do more of it. Do more of what you feel makes you happy because life's too short for one thing. And the other thing, it's going to lift your energy and attract more. Absolutely. And be curious, you know, be curious, try new things. Because, like, for example, my, my purpose in life is to have stories to be told. And I write novels and I write books and I and I have people publish books. But I did not discover all this till I was 31 years of age. I know other people who don't find their purpose till later on. But that, but to just keep curious trying things and it'll lead you to that thing that just lights up and makes your heart sing and will 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 be such a amazing th gift to, the, to yourself but also to the world as well yeah. how how philosophical and everything are we emma <laughs> hey <laughs> well, the world. The thing. and i mean if you can find the right balance you know, it is about balance as well. If you can find that thing and find, hold that space for yourself to do that one thing that makes you happy, why would you not do it? In fact, do more of it. I'm going to start calling this the motivation show. Yay! That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Motivate everybody. Well, Emma, we have a very special guest joining us today, the amazing Lizzie Doherty. Yeah. And we're going to bring her on here and she's going we're going to talk, have a beautiful conversation around happiness and, and what that means for Lizzie. Because we all have our own everyone knows what makes what we makes us happy because we're we're openly share it, but everyone has a different perspective on it and, and I, I adore these conversations because they just open up the floor. So we're gonna invite Lizzie up. I'm Welcome, so Lizzie. Hi, Yay! girls. <laughs> Hello. We are so excited to have you here. No, oh, it makes so me happy to be asked. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Here we so go, Lizzie. Emma. I know. Yeah, I know Lizzie, what does happiness mean to you personally? Personally, uh, I would say for me, happiness definitely comes from within. 100 percent you know it's all about mindset it's how you view your you know the world how you view your life i like emma and you already said current there will be problems that will happen in life there's things that we know we're not always going to walk around happy all of the time 
But I think, you know, it's all about really how you address those situations. You can sit and you can wallow and you can make it worse and you're just going to be miserable all the time. Or you can try and take something that can make a positive out of that situation. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we were talking about this around the table earlier, you know, when you maybe lost your job or something like that. And you think, oh, no, but that could be seen as a new opportunity, you know, for this is life showing you a new direction. It's how you look at things. So. I definitely think happiness comes from within you, how you view the world, your mindset, 100% your mindset. It is you perspective, isn't it? Oh, totally. Oh, 100%. And Lizzie, you definitely are a happy person. Like, I've met you a couple of times in person, <laughs> and you're just, you're vibing, and you're happy, and cheerful as well, and everything's always, um, you know, I good think that's why we bounce me. off each other, Emma, because... <laughs> We have good crack and you're the same, you know, you're always buzzing and happy. And, you know, we always say in here after a conversation with Emma, you just come away smiling. You know, she's always so happy, you know. Um, but yeah, that's why it's like you surround yourself yeah. with people. Yes. Yeah, it, it is. It is. If you come Let's away talk from on someone that. and they're just do nothing but complain yeah. and moan all the time, that's going to rub off and you. you're going to come away thinking, oh, God, you know, just spent half an hour with that person and I feel like, you know, it's all doom and gloom, isn't it? So you have to surround yourself with like-minded people that's going to raise your vibrations and bring happiness into your life. And definitely, mm -hmm. and you two are and definitely prime well, candidates for that. You know what it is whenever you find your people and you are one of our people, Lizzie, and that's, you just enjoy just being in, in their space and their energy and having the conversations around, you know, like, and that's why it, you end up feeling better because of it because yeah. why would you choose to be around people who, who who pull you down you know we can it's a choice thing um, and I know that some people may feel it's not but it definitely is a choice you can choose who you surround yourself with but you can choose to even prioritize happiness it may even rub off on them hey imagine. yeah yeah, yeah exactly that's true <laughs> But I, I actually believe, honest to goodness, that you can choose your thoughts as well. Now, not all of them all of the time, but it's like we were saying you check in on yourself. And I get the essence of you, Lizzie, and this is why happiness was brilliant for us to be talking, because we do bounce off each other so well. You're comfortable, you're happy, you're enjoying life, you know, you know what you have, you're grateful, you have yeah. faith, and it just all of that added yeah. together, I truly believe, shines from you in terms of happiness. Yeah. Well, 100 percent you have to I, I for me my faith is a big one you know i know that's not for everybody but for me that's a big one um that you definitely i get a lot of happiness from that a lot of comfort from that you know when you are having a bad day or you are struggling or whatever that plays a big factor for me um but yeah 100 percent emma like Oh, you know, as well, being around Gary, Mr. Motivator. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's just commented there, three golden girls. There we are. We'll take that, won't we? <laughs> the golden girls, the young girls, but not golden. <laughs> not that one, Gary, thank you. <laughs> and, oh, it is, it is Gary's got a question here for you, Lizzie. And it's a, do you want me to ask it or just ignore it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Is it good or bad? I can't see it. <laughs> How happy does your husband make you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Will we move on now? That's you wonderful. Know, you know, let's, talk another husband, doesn't he? <laughs> let's talk about gratitude, okay? Because we're all very big on gratitude. Yeah. And the reason why gratitude is important whenever you prioritize happiness is because it brings you down. If you're having a crap day, it'll help you to identify something good in that day and it'll help that you know, it'll have that, that shine through the darkness of the day. So, you know, what's your ritual for gratitude, Lizzie? Oh, gratitude, yeah. Definitely keeping a journal. You know, like yeah. I said yesterday, I hadn't been keeping my journal the last couple of weeks because we were moving house. And I was really feeling the effects of that last night. So last night yeah. I ran a nice warm bubble bath, laying that. Gary was doing meditation with you guys. Uh, I came out. Went into my room, meditated for half an hour, came down the stairs, done my journal, went to bed feeling brilliant. Yeah. You know, if you don't do it, yeah. you, feel, you feel the effects of that 100%. And today yeah, I feel much better. Yeah. Actually, 
did actually do say that whenever you do your gratitude before you go to sleep, there's a thing that happens in your sleep that sets you up for the for the day in a subconscious way. Yeah. Did you know that? Isn't it fascinating? Yeah. It so is. yeah, if you yeah, it just I, it's, I you know the way that. that? No, yeah, yeah. You know the way that they tell you to say a prayer before bedtime? You know, yes. whenever we say a prayer before bedtime. That's why, because you, you pray, then you're focused on all the goodness that was in the day or whatever, and then you go to sleep, it sets you up well for the next yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, there's there you a go. Hack. We learn something new every day. Yeah, there's a hack. It's funny, I do mine. I meditate at night, but I do my gratitude during in the morning. And you know why I think it helps as well? Because obviously you're writing down everything you're grateful for, but it's bringing you to the here and now, and it's changing your thoughts from what you have into what you have, mm -hmm, which is mm -hmm. what you're grateful for. And that definitely does, I think, set you up kind of going forward and as you were saying earlier on Lizzie as well it then sets you apart from those people that potentially have a negative mindset for whatever reason you know yeah. different strokes of different folks whatever but you would then I'd imagine purposely not put yourself in that position because they're impacting on your on your vibe if you know what I mean which obviously oh, yeah. impacts on your on your happiness and even your well-being so it's really important to um and when I be talking to people I'd be saying that who's your fave who is yeah. the people that you're spending the most time with? Because that is so important. Yeah. Only five. <laughs> five. <laughs> five, right? Yeah, five. I'm going yeah, to yeah. Five. I'm only, I'm only, I'm only teasing. I'm only, I'm just putting it to you. We're in lockdown. <laughs> five, five's a push. I know. <laughs> Are we allowed five yet? <laughs> <laughs> Virtual. <laughs> <laughs> See, you make me so happy. Virtually, there's only five people that I have yeah. in that wee circle that really live for my vibe. Lizzie being one, I mean, you just bounce, you know what I mean? You get that feeling, and sometimes yeah. that's what gives you happiness, isn't it? Other people's oh, energies. Lizzie, can I ask you, you just mentioned there that you um, moved house. Like, that's one of the most stressful things you can do in life. So I want to use that as an example. So how do you maintain happiness when you're going through something <laughs> stressful? You know, like, I'm sure Gary was lots of help. <laughs> yeah, he actually was, Karen. I have to give him his dues. He worked really hard at moving home. Well done, Gary. Trying to juggle everything. You know what I think? The way I looked at moving home, we were so excited. Yeah. That yeah. the excitement was the overwhelming feeling. Like, we couldn't wait to get to a bigger house and you know oh we just love this house it's amazing so we're just so oh, grateful focus on the end focus on the end result and just get the work done because it's not going to wait for anybody you exactly. gotta like, you know, wake up every it. day and we're grateful yeah yeah it's a beautiful That's thing it's a beautiful okay. thing yeah. uh -huh. can i right, can i share right. with you what, what what your husband's grateful for lizzie okay <laughs> she's no. like oh brace <laughs> myself here. i'm grateful when lizzie makes me tea there we go <laughs> He you is always what? at that, Lizzie. That is terrible. <laughs> Lizzie's grateful. She puts love in. Uh, I know. You know, she, you I put love in it. Get up and make the tea. It's all about female empowerment right here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, Karen, I think, isn't that what um, Dad used to say to Mammy? Is it made the cup of tea? It's made with love. The cup of yeah. Yes. Gary, Gary will make me a cup of tea every morning and a cup of tea before I go to bed. Huh. But you can't cook. But you're lucky if you get those, you know, those cups of tea. They mean the world to me because you can't cook. <laughs> you see, you're showing gratitude and look how happy you are. And, pr and <laughs> praising, <laughs> and praising. <laughs> um, Melissa Joy Billman, who was our guest last week, says, Hello, beautiful ladies. And that's beautiful, Lizzie. There you oh, go. Uh, that's a love and, and magic. Oh, I, I, my cheeks are sore. <laughs> <laughs> happens honest to goodness you just be smiling it just makes you happy but you know what makes you happy as well connection and conversation so mm -hmm. the silly conversations as much as the heavy conversations you know what i mean it's just all about you know how you're feeling on the day as well and being able to bounce off other people exactly yeah i agree you know because we were talking about this earlier too and i said to gary you know some people pet happiness is how much money they have in the bank mm -hmm. or whatever that may be and why that's great to have financial security and we all want that that's never going to make you happy those are the extras that are bonuses but it's doing what you love every day a job that you love that's going to then bring abundance into your life financially yeah and and, and happiness sticks as well so you know that's what think network i suppose is doing because 
it's like surrounding yourselves with people like you every day. You get to work with people like you every day. So that's a wonderful thing. Who wouldn't want to do that for a job? You know? Exactly. And you are you are the woman behind the, the Gary Doherty. So just let everyone know, you know, the yes. way behind every good man there is a great woman. Mm. So this is, this is Lizzie. We have. <laughs> I'm just waiting that's to see what Gary comments on that. Yeah, oh, he, he, he definitely will agree with that. Yeah. Oh no, absolutely, absolutely. We know it, we feel it because we are ambassadors behind the scenes and we, we connect with you and, and to be able to have that point of, of contact that is a positive um, contact to, to connect with, um, it's just, yeah. it's a really powerful thing for, for a network to have. So, so these are a teamwork, teamwork is the dream work yeah. and we are so proud to be part of Think and Network. And we couldn't do it without Oh AME yeah, over. and AME, like guess what I mean, Think Network, it feels very much like it's have a family vibe to it yeah. now. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. You know, and for Amy to walk away from her job to come and work with her dad full time, but she's loving it and she yeah. loves working with you too as well, loves it. You know, that, and like, just such a lovely energy. I can't explain it. It's absolutely amazing. Like, and that's what brings the happiness. And as you were saying, if you do your passion, and we talk about this all the time, if what you do every day you're passionate about, the abundance and everything else comes afterwards. It's because, you know, you're doing the right thing. You're feeling the vibes and the passion behind and everything else just comes after. Like, it's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Barry wants us to big up Mental Wealth International. So, would you want to talk about what's happening tomorrow night, Emma? <laughs> oh, lovely Gary has a room in Clubhouse. Um, and we're talking about mental wealth and we are talking about instead of fixing your mental health, let's invest in our mental wealth. And the amazing thing now, we've got a fantastic panel of people coming to talk about it. So, we're going to talk about how you can achieve good mental health which i suppose totally in keeping with happiness to prioritize your happiness is prioritizing your your mental health and your well-being there's loads happening with mental wealth international at the minute i can't believe it it's just starting to kind of take flight so watch this space that's brilliant Emma. well done thank you like it's it is and do you see it light em up do you see when she talks <laughs> about that and uh -huh. these are opportunities i'll come with Think Network, and that is Think Network's um, club on um, on on Clubhouse. And we've got, you know, if you're not in Clubhouse, come join us. It'll be easier in the next few weeks because it's opening up more. But um, there's lots of amazing, valuable conversations happening on there. But there's also amazing, uh, valuable things happening in Think Network. And, of course, everything that we do, you know, like Gary was on my show at in um, Everything Publishing Academy the other day. You know, just to, yeah. to, to you know, and then... You know, there's so much just happening around around all of the stuff that we're doing, and it's all intertwined with you, Lizzie. Yeah. You, know, you guys in the, and that that's what's it's so fun, isn't it? Whenever you see things grow because you're you're there, letting helping it to to grow, it's just beautiful. Oh, I know, I know. If I have Get to hear to Gary share. say one more time, I'm in another book. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have his own book next time, oh, no. Lizzie. You're going okay. to have to have with that. Down. <laughs> He's got a book chef now, Lizzie. He's got a book chef now. Oh, <laughs> he bought one yesterday, Emma. I think it's over. Wait till it's, wait till it's yours, Lizzie. Wait till it's your book. That'll be an interesting story. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're waiting for that one. Tell all. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, Lizzie, it's been an absolute joy. Thank you so much for joining us, joining oh. us on the show this week. It's been just so, so good and um, wonderful conversation. <laughs> publicly i want to thank lizzie for all her love and support and care oh. over the last couple of months it's meant the world to me so thank oh. you very much you make me happy oh you make me happy too and no problem we love you lots thank you <laughs> thank you bye bye wasn't that fun okay, just amazing. i swear to god i cannot wait to meet her in um, person Lots of hugs. Yeah, get 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 that <laughs> hug. Um, she needs she needs says great as always, and Gary says well done everyone. Goodness, it's just you know whenever you have a lovely conversation and you get to meet because me me and Lizzie haven't met face to face yet, but we've talked lots behind the scenes. Whenever you get to meet, so Lizzie, watch this space. We want you out in the, in in the in the vicinity <laughs> online a bit more. <laughs>
it's got that good energy. <laughs> the world needs you. The world needs you. But um, yeah, oh, like I'm prioritizing happiness, one of my most favorite subjects in the world. And I hope that anybody watching this today has actually been inspired to prioritize happiness for themselves. Because even in a little way, once you start in a little way, you'll see it just roll and have a ripple effect in your life. And why not? Life's too short to to be just sat in the doldrums and um, just embrace that little bit of light of happiness and watch it just grow in, in your life. So please prioritize you, prioritize your happiness, and then you will be able to give the best of yourself to others. Emma, do you want to finish off in anything? Totally agree. We've went, we've went over time already. You know. We always do that. And um, what a great <laughs> chat this evening. I'm absolutely buzzing. I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight. But thank you, everybody, for watching and commenting. I see we've got a really good bit of momentum going on Instagram on our Weaver Birds as well. So it was absolutely great to see it. And hopefully see a lot of you in Clubhouse tomorrow morning, UK time at 11 a.m. Hey, come join us. Come join the fun. You might even get on stage and share your views on <laughs> mental wealth. Bye, everyone. See you Thank next you. week for episode 11. Bye. Bye.